Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about speciation. Okay, so what we have seen so far is micro evaluation, micro evolution. Okay, that means that the changes are very small or even though they are significant, also they simply change the common characteristic of a particular species but this does not properly explain how new species come into existence that what we have studied so far in the previous lecture okay that can be said to have happened only if this group of beetles we are thinking about splits into two population that cannot reproduce with each other so when this happens then they call to be the so let's say when two beetles reproduce and they produce two independent species which cannot reproduce together means the two males okay let's say or the male species male so they cannot so they are called as independent species Now let's consider what would happen if the bushes the beetle feed on are spread widely if bushes the beetle are feed are spread widely over a large or you can say mountain range okay the beetle population becomes very large as a result the beetle population becomes very large as a result okay but individual beetles feed mostly on a but individual beetles feed mostly on a few feed mostly on a few nearby bushes throughout their lifetime throughout their lifetime okay so they do not travel far so in this huge population of beetles there will be sub population in the neighborhood since male and female beetles have to meet for reproduction to happen most reproduction will be within these sub population okay so there can be two cases when one beetle goes to another sub population how when a crow takes it without eaten to the takes the beetle to second sub population okay so in if however let me first delete this if in that case the two population will be if however if however between two such sub population a large river comes into existence a large river comes into existence the two population will be further isolated the two population 
will be further isolated the levels of gene flow between them will decrease even further means between the two subpopulation the level of genes flow the level of genes flow between them will further decrease okay over generations generate gen genetic drift will accumulate different changes in each sub population so over generation genetic drift will accumulate accumulate different changes in each sub population so also also natural selection may all natural selection may also operate differently in these different geographic locations in these different geographic locations okay so thus for the example in the territory of one sub population crows are eliminated by eagles but this does not happen for the other sub population where crows numbers are very high as a result the grain variation will not be selected at the first site while it will be strongly selected at the second okay so that together the process of genetic drift and the natural selection means the first is the natural drift okay and the natural selection will result in these two isolated sub population of beetles becoming more and more different for each other eventually members of these two members will be incapable of reproducing with each other even they happen to meet so that is why it is called as speciation okay students now i hope that you are pretty clear about what is speciation so and in the next lecture we will discuss about evolution and classification so stay tuned for the next lecture on evolution and classification students thank you happy learning